everyone. Uh, we are back here and I'm Vito, as you know. And today we've got Emma here with us. Hello, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the creative room. Uh, thanks for being here. Pleasure. And um, let's have a, a chat and talk to people and let them know a bit about um, yourself and the journey that you had so far. Um, I know that you are Italian. So going back all the way to Italy. So you're there living, so what happened? So um, uh, I was born in 1987 in uh, Milan. <clears throat> so I lived basically uh, all my life uh, in uh, north of Italy in, uh, in Milan, this beautiful city. Though my, uh, my parents, my family, they are from the south of Italy. Um, yeah, I have uh, this just beautiful big family because I have a lot of uh, uncle and aunties. And yeah, like between, uh, you know, siblings and uh, like cousin and yeah, my sister, we are like 30 people, you know, like it's like a big, a big traditional family. Big yeah, yeah, traditional big Italian family. Traditional yeah. Italian family, yes, yes. The Sundays are funny because <laughs> when we had to, you know, we invite everybody, so uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So um, yeah, I live in Milan. Um, I was just a you know regular guy. Um, I went to accountant school, so my background uh, comes from uh, like accountancy, and uh, yeah, I start to work. Um, so I did. I decided to work and not to go to university mm -hmm. because I was I was felt ready, so like I just want to go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, in my short career in Italy, I started to work in offices. So, like, my first job was in a bank, actually. Um, and that was just very random because I, it was a little bank was opening in, uh, my, in my city, my street, actually. And uh, I just went there with my curriculum. And, you know, like, normally you apply in a bank, so you apply with emails and stuff. And I just went there and brought my curriculum. And, yeah, time, like, a month I was in. So I spent like four years actually doing that job, which I, I really loved, but I always had um, a soft spot for hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I always like, uh, like restaurant. I used to work <coughs> in this, uh, doing like a catering function, weddings when I was uh, back uh, when I was student. So I always enjoyed that, um, that side and that, uh, that work. I, um, well, in one future, it would become my my career, mm -hmm. but I didn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then in in Italy, so you you worked there for four years in the in that bank. So that yeah. one was on you said it was on the same street that you lived. That yeah, was good. Exactly. Yeah. That was yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it was good because that was nice. Probably when my uh, my boss hired me, you know, like uh, I didn't know anything about the world, and uh, but I said, look, I know everybody. In, in the street and, and <laughs> in the neighbor. So, you know, it might be good for you, you know, to have like a face that they can uh, recognize. And probably that was, you know, one of the good point in my, on my side, so. That was, that yeah. was your, your selling point. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's good. It went well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so in that, during that time, um, did you, cause you, you mentioned that you, you were working in a bank and you were into hospitality and everything. Mm. Um, but then after those four years, did you do something else? Or after those four years was the time that you decided to come to Australia? Yeah, <clears throat> so basically I remember um, when my contract was, uh, was expiring, my, my job contract, there we had like a huge like, crisis, economic crisis in, uh, back in uh, Europe and uh, in Italy. Uh, that was coming from uh, America, you know, when the big bank went down. Uh, so we had this, um, this moment in Italy where the economy was bad and uh, I actually lost my job because uh, they were closing a few branches of the bank. So I was like, I find myself like without a job. Um, so after that, um, thanks to, to my, my previous, my former boss, um, he had uh, a few connections. So he was able to find a job for like an insurance. So I worked there for like around one year, but I re really didn't like the really didn't like the job. So, and that moment probably I was about uh, 20, 24, 25 ish. And uh, I felt there was something missing in my, um, in my life. So I never traveled around, uh, around the world. And actually I, I only travel in, in, uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. which is beautiful because everything is very it's close. close right? you know? So yeah. yeah, 
I visited a lot, a lot of country, but in a, you know, like a, just in Europe. So um, at that moment, uh, I just want to change uh, my life a little bit. And um, <clears throat> there was this uh, friend of mine that he was living in Australia already from uh, one year in uh, South Australia. He was in Adelaide. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he like month by month he was always you know like uh, contacting me and say, hey, look, Australia is good life. Just uh, come here, you know. It was like um, I know you want to travel, so he was pushing me. <laughs> yeah, so. That was good. And then, um, yeah, by the time I was like 26, 27, I um, went to my parents one day and I say, look, I want to travel. <laughs> so, um, and they were like, yeah, okay, where do you want to go? Like in Europe, in they Europe. expect in Europe, because <laughs> you know, I'm going to go like on the other side of the world, in Australia. So yeah, like uh, my mom was, uh, wasn't really happy. Were moment. you the first one in the family to do something like that? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Between like me and my sister, yeah, my yeah. sister is um, like four years younger than me, so she was the little one. But and your parents, they they didn't do that as well. No, no, because back in you know like the sixties, the seventies, um, as Italian, we didn't travel uh, that much, you know, unless like I know there's like a lot of um, migration from Italy, you know, there's people going to America, but. In general, it, Italian, they were like that much traveler, you know, mm. like we have like the, the German or the British, like they are the traveler, you know, like um, it's generally speaking. And uh, my parents, like I know the, f the far, uh, the most far they went, it was like uh, Spain, which is very, very close, you know, and it was their wedding, uh, um, a wedding trip, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they went to Spain, which, which was like already like a big thing for them, you know. So um, I was the first one in my in my family, not just my my close family, but you know between everybody, like saying you know goodbye and just flying around around the world. Yeah. So after after you came, uh, you mentioned that you have your younger sister. So mm. does she want to come as well, or she's happy there? Um, no, she's happy in Milan. I always tried to to make a you know like travel come here, and it was like a few few times that she was thinking about, but then, you know, like she started her career as well, mm. which is actually works in uh, recruiting. In Milan? In Milan, yes, yes. Um, so this big agency, so, you know, she found um, um, a way. So at the moment she's not traveling, she's more working, you know. Yeah. So then, because um, right now we, so we are in, in Brisbane, right? So you mentioned that your friend, um, he was living in Adela at the time. Yeah. So when you, I believe he, after pushing a little bit, he convinced you to, to come. So when you came to Australia, did you go to Adelaide or? Yeah. So you went to Adelaide first? I traveled, yeah, mm. uh, directly from uh, Milan to Adelaide. And there was like a pretty huge, you know, flight, but also like very easy because uh, there's only one stop. No main connections? Yeah, yeah, just like just Dubai, I think, or Abu Dhabi, something like that. Yeah. It's so you get here, you have all your luggage with you, right? It doesn't disappear on the way because you're gonna have many connections. Uh, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was scared about that because it was the first time for me for the travel. So um, I didn't put much stuff, you know, like I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, find my, my baggage in Australia. So, you know, I just put some t-shirt and that's it. That's it, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I didn't know what to pack because I, I never, I never traveled that far, so. And um, did you speak English by the time or? No? No, I have to say no. no. I, um, I, well, I knew I had base, a little base because I, I, did, I studied a bit of English at school, but I never practiced. Mm -hmm. So I only studied. I knew a few words, you know, the name, and but never, never spoke English. So you know that was another big step, of course, coming here, and especially with the Australian English, which is even different. No, know? yeah, not easy to mm. to understand uh, at the beginning. And so by, by leaving family behind and um, so you spend your whole life in Milan, um, did you feel scared to get your, your bag and just mm, come to Australia? Yeah, well, it was exciting um, and scary at the same time because yeah, okay, I have this friend in Australia, which helped mm. uh, pro probably by myself. I don't know if... Uh, uh, I would be that, that brave, you know, uh, as much. But um, I was also very, very happy. So it was like a, something new, you know, never did that. And yeah, I was scared, but also I, um, 
I know myself. Like I can be confident, you know. So I, I just, I just did it. I just did it. And and how was um how was life in Adelaide? Oh, pretty good. I actually like really like the city. It's um, very small. The actual CBD is uh, like pretty much one kilometer by one kilometer, so it's very very small. But um, I really like around there, and especially around the city, there's a few vineyards. Mm. So there's like Barossa Valley, McLare Valley, uh, with the production of uh, wine is going on. And I visited that. I remember I did like a bike trip uh, and visiting all the canteen, and you can do the tasting. So, you know, like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. I really like uh, the city. Yeah. Did you, for how long did you stay there? Uh, six months. Yeah, around six months. And that was just uh, traveling, walking? Um. Yeah, so basically I found a job um, very, very easily. Like probably after two or three days, I was already working in uh, in a restaurant. So actually we're there when I started my career in a restaurant. Um, so it was uh, this uh, restaurant, Italian restaurant in um, in one of the streets in the CBD. It's called Lake, Lake Street, I think. And the restaurant was called uh, Rigoni. Um, and there was this uh, lady with Italian background, and you know she she noticed that I wasn't speaking English, and I was just talking with my hand, like, <laughs> <a little> time, <laughs> you know, <laughs> with smile, yeah. yeah just, and uh, yeah, like you know, like for me, she was Italian, so you know she she felt good about me, and then uh, she gave me the job. And then I started, but it was like very, very, very difficult at the beginning. And so I wasn't able to stay uh, on the floor by myself. So they actually put me at the back the first day, <laughs> so just polishing glasses and uh, and say, okay, like learn something, then you can go and take orders, you know. And, uh, and so, so I did, yeah, I started little by little. And then after probably like around two months, you know, I was uh, able like, to start and I, like, be more confident, you know, so taking order and um, start to talk with the customer, you know, and so, yeah, so I did. And then uh, after that, it was like all, um, all good, you know, all was going well, yeah. And then, so after those first six months, um, so where did you go to? So uh, after six months, then I had like a, a few, few money and then I said, okay, my original plan was to stay around one year in uh, in Australia. That was my just only travel and work around. So I said, okay, I spent six months. So now it's time to it's time to move. Even though if I really liked Adelaide, then I had you know start to have a few friends there. So um, one day I just went on uh, Gumtree, which was like the popular Australian website where you can find everything. And uh, yeah, I was like in the section of the travel and I was just looking, you know, for people to join you know, or join me for the, for the travel. And then I remember there was this uh, French guy with a, with a van, which was currently traveling with uh, a Scottish um, guy that they were looking for a third person, you know, to travel a bit. And I reply and they, you know, text me back and I was like, okay, let's meet. And uh, so we can, uh, you know, know each other, meet each other and see what happened. And that was the starting on the, another little adventure so uh, we start from Adelaide and uh, we went north and so we did like in a few months like very slowly we took our time we did uh, the coast to coast until uh, North Australia in uh, Darwin it was like uh, just amazing so I, I can't imagine that was um, yeah. a lifetime experience it was, was it was it was it's a it looks like a, like the starting of a joke, you know, the Italian, the Scottish, and the French. <laughs> and actually, it was because at the beginning, uh, my my English wasn't perfect, and the French guy as well has <laughs> his English, and the Scottish guy is in another English. So it was like very difficult. But you know, eventually we became friends, and actually we still uh, friends, still texting each other after years, you know. Um, yeah, we did this amazing uh, trip in a van, which is like uh, I never imagined I would do that in my life, you know. And, uh, and doing that in Australia is so amazing because you just drive for hours and hours, and uh, there's nothing stopping you, you know. Like especially <coughs> in the center of Australia, it's like pretty desertic landscape. Um, yeah, and I remember we even <coughs> we went to the Uluru, so right in the middle of uh, Australia, this a uh, big rock. And we visited that, and then we went to Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon, yeah, it's called like that. 
and all around like Alice Springs, which is like very, very different um, Australia. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, local people and not many tourists around. And just the atmosphere is, uh, it's crazy. And this, uh, you know, like red, uh, red uh, land mm. you see around and the kangaroos is like, it was just, uh, it was just a dream. I haven't had the, ch um, the chance to be there, but I've heard that even um, nighttime, the sky and everything is amazing. Uh, right? Yes, I never saw many, so many stars. Yeah, actually you, you remind me. We often use, used to <coughs> travel a little bit uh, off-road You know, and then there was no light, no cities, there was nothing. It literally sometimes looked like to be on Mars, you know, <laughs> like to be on another planet because it was just, you know, the horizon and the stars, like everywhere, like beautiful. beautiful. It's, um, by, by, by uh, listening to you, it's interesting that you, you've said at the beginning, you spent your whole life in Milan and then, okay, you decide to go as far as possible to Australia. Yeah, basically. But then you faced all the challenges, restaurants and everything. And then out of nowhere, you are traveling all those destinations and doing all of that, like more than you did your entire life in Italy. That's It's exactly what you right? <laughs> That's exactly what I was experiencing. I was like, oh, I, I'm a city boy. You know, I, I never been, well, I've been in, <clears throat> uh, like in Italy many times in a rural area. But in Italy is different, you know, it's a small country, there's so many people, you never feel like you are alone. Mm. You know, there's always like a city attached to another, or a little town, little village. There's always people around. So I never experienced, you know, to be like in a kind of a desert with nobody around, you know, just the stars. And it was like, uh, yeah, the experience of my life, actually. That's uh, the, the best uh, probably time I had in Australia, I had to say. So how, how long did it take, that trip? So I remember we traveled for, Around three months, three months. Yeah, like we were like, nice. Yeah, because we mm, we just put some money aside and we say, okay, we just wanna wanna travel, you know. So we went pretty slow. We were living like two three days in a little town, you know, at the time, and um, just going around until yeah, we arrived north in uh, Darwin. Yeah. So yeah, around like two months and a half, three months, you know. And then after, so after you, you guys got there, so. <coughs> you, man, you mentioned you, you made your two friends. Uh, are they still living in Australia or they went back home? No, they they went back, went back home, yeah. yeah. And then, so after that trip, so your next step, what did you do? So after that, we actually split in uh, in Darwin. So, you know, it was like a farewell and everybody went to down another road, you know. Um, so I just found myself um, like another uh, time, you know, like in in the middle of nowhere with no money, basically, you know, I just like, I was around Darwin. Um, and so I went again, I think on Gumtree or, you know, like online, <laughs> I was like, okay, now I need to, <laughs> you know, yeah, like I had my, my fun time now, you know, I need to go back and work a little bit more. And I remember I found this, um, this job, which was near Townsville. Uh, which was a, a farm job and the farmer was uh, advertising as uh, like a job and uh, live here okay so like all the um, cost for like a house uh, was all covered including the in the job you know so I was like yeah okay I mean I'm in North Australia now I can travel you know on the on the coast in Townsville and uh, see what happened so I went there and I remember found um, Uh, I hitchhiked, as uh, I used mm. you know, I just, uh, you know, found uh, in Darwin, like uh, some people with, uh, travel to travel with. And I remember we did it like in four days, we were on uh, this this coast. So uh, we arrived in, uh, in Townsville. And uh, I remember the farm was uh, around like half an hour from uh, from Townsville, inland. So it was like another, like in middle of nowhere, just a farm, just walking, nothing, sleep, walk, nothing sleep. around. Yes, yes. And then I started my, um, um, you know, my my work there for this farm, which is another um, adventure that I never thought, you know, I was I was able to do, you know, to do it never in my life because to work for a farm I never did, you know. And uh, what, what kind of farm was that? Picking <coughs> fruits? Or was so um, no, lucky me it was uh, it was not picking. Ah. So because I know like people, you know, broke their back when <laughs> it, it was like. 
no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, no, it was actually a very good experience because this farmer has uh, had uh, like a tree, a tree farm. Mm. So basically, in the farm, we were growing all kind of trees, all sizes. So I remember the job was like uh, we started in the morning, like planting like this l- really little plant, you know. And I remember we were doing like 500 a day, you know. So like moving moving the soil and put everything in a little pot with this uh, little plant, you know, and then just um, water them and then move them around uh, the farm. And then every every part in the farm was was divided in um, <coughs> in relation to the um, the kind of plant and uh, the kilos. So it was like a little plants, and then it was like a 10 kilo bags, five kilo bags, 20 kilo, and then you start to have like a little tree, you know, and uh, that was the the business. And then this guy was selling the trees uh, to to the cities, to Townsville. He was saying sometimes the city council had to do like some uh, like road work or uh, do some. Um, <coughs> Uh, put some trees, you know, on the street. So he, he was selling them to to them. That's uh, that was his business. And when um, when was that? Was um, uh, around summer in Australia, winter? So that was, um, I think it was like around October, November. Mm, so almost, yeah. <laughs> almost yeah. getting so super it's, it's hot. So it started to get <laughs> start to get hot there. Yeah, and also we were working um, eight hours a day starting 4 a.m., uh, which was nice because it was nice and cool in the morning, but then, you know, like, by the 10, 11, midday, you know, it started to get, like, very, very hot. So mm. i never been uh, that, um, how do you say, sunburst, you know, like, uh, <laughs> as, I, as I did that, that time, you know. Like <laughs> it was a no, really nice experience. I was always, like, super daddy, wearing just a T-shirt, you know, and... I was feeling free actually. It's like really, really, really nice. You just work with your hand, and you do that from the morning until uh, you know, like I was doing like what, four, five. You know, that's when you stop. After that, we were having a beer in our backyard, and you know, by by eight, seven, eight, it was dark, so there's nothing else to do. So you just watch a little bit, a few kangaroos walking <laughs> the stars, and you just go to sleep. Good, man. Yeah. Uh, and I believe you had the chance to uh, meet more people from all over the world in there as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. people from everywhere. Like the um, the amount of uh, countries, other countries I met in Australia, it's uh, it's crazy. Because uh, back in Italy, basically I always hang out with uh, Italian. You know, like uh, the, the, of course I've been in touch with uh, people from uh, maybe Spain, France, but it's not close that. by countries. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, but not that often. You know, so it was uh, another um, nice experience because you, you you just open your mind to um, different people and different set of minds and uh, different experience, different background. It's just everything was new. You know, I was like I was 27 by the time I was like, I feel like five years old. You know, <laughs> Cause, like I'm learning everything now, you know. So, yeah. And then, so once you finished your, um, your experience um, in that, what happened next? Um, then I started to travel again, and my goal was to go to Sydney. So mm. I wanted to go in uh, in Sydney and um, <coughs> and live there. And then um, before Sydney, I arrived in Brisbane. So I said, okay, I'm going to stay a little bit in Brisbane and uh, work and make some money and then go to Sydney. Um, oh, another thing uh, that happened, working for the farm, um, I just got to know that if you work for uh, three months, basically, uh, you can apply for the second uh, second year. Because ah, you were uh, on your working holiday I was visa working at the time. Holiday, yes, mm. yes. But as I said, my plan was to stay one year. So I never like look for a farm job for do the visa. It wasn't the purpose, you know. But then I was there, and then you know, weeks were why not? Were biased. Okay, <laughs> why not? Let's let's do it and let's see what happens, you know. Um, and then I arrived to Brisbane uh, in Brisbane and. Like time one week, I fall in love for the city, and it's like so far I still thinking that it's like the best city in uh, in Australia. Um, and I visited. I didn't. I didn't leave, but I visited uh, Melbourne and Sydney. Um, I visited Melbourne actually when I was in Adelaide, so it was pretty close. So you know, just uh, like an hour flight, probably even less. So I had the chance to visit Melbourne. It was a pretty good city, very European, as I said. Mm. And 
yeah, and then as I said, like Brisbane was just uh, something different. The weather, uh, the city is beautiful. The river, you know, it's just uh, it looks like a like city of the future. You know, like it's very clean, very nice people, and yeah. And then six years later, <laughs> <laughs> still, still there, still, still having here. the same feeling. Yeah. That's good. And then um, you mentioned um, back in in Milan, you you always had the passion for hospitality. So when did you make the your career in Australia? So actually, it happened in Brisbane. Mm. Uh, so let's say I when I was in Adelaide, I worked for this restaurant. So um, I start to know you know like all the war the the actual wars and uh, the way they do hospitality in Australia. Um, the food we have in Australia, so that prepared me, you know. So by the time I arrived in Brisbane, I had a bit of experience, mm. and I, I remember I found a job after three days. So it probably was a good time because they were going um, like through Christmas season. Ah, okay. So you know the busy. city was getting busy, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I remember like time like three days, you know, I was just going around with curriculum and, and this uh, Italian restaurant called me back, and uh, you know by the time like my English was better. And my experience in restaurant was uh, was better, so I started to work there, and it was like super busy. Yeah. And what was uh, what kind of a restaurant? Uh, Italian. Italian. So it's well. called uh, yeah, <laughs> traditional Italian. <coughs> uh, it was called Pane Vino. Ah, yeah. yeah. Very, very famous restaurant in Brisbane because it was open like uh, my like twenty around twenty years from this uh, Italian family. Um. So I yeah I started work there and. Um, like literally my life in brisbane was was amazing you know? so you did you you because you worked um for a italian restaurant in adelaide and then when you got here you had the chance to work for a italian restaurant as well so you had the chance to keep eating the good italian food yes <laughs> that's good <laughs> actually i had to say um back in adelaide uh the owner was uh, from uh, new zealand mm. But he was uh, a very good, very good chef, and it, the Italian was like pretty good, of course. But when I arrived in um, in Panavino, in this restaurant, you know, it was owned by two Italian mm -hmm. brothers. And when I saw the plate, it was like very traditional. It looks like my grandma, you know. So I was like, okay, I want to yeah, work good here. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat. You can film food, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was looking forward to my break, you know, and like nice plate of pasta, nice. lasagna. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. No, very nice, and also um, like like I felt at home. You know, there was like a lot of um, Australian, which like they're in love for Italian food, so I was able to explain and being being proud, you know, of my of my background. And that's another thing about Australia. I always I always felt <coughs> um, so accepted, you know, from the beginning. So that's why I've, I felt good, you know, living living here as well. And what about um, your parents? So. Uh did they get used to the fact that Australia is your, um, your home now? Well, after a few years, yes. Um, they actually came and visit me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So um, on my when I applied for the second uh, visa, so my second year, I had to call back home and I <laughs> had to make the call <laughs> and say, "Look, mom, I'm not coming back. <laughs> Probably going to stay another year." And you know, there was a bit of uh, Italian drama going on. <laughs> So yeah, but my dad was very supportive, and it was like he was happy. He was like, do your do your thing, you know, like do your experience, and <clears throat> you know. So I took a little while to they took a little while to get used, and so like after three years, I think I only went back Italy once uh, for my father's birthday. I did like surprise, and I went back after one year and a half, something like that. And then by the time it was three years, I was living here, and my parents wanna, wanted to see me, so they traveled as well. So they came here, it was like Easter time. And uh, you know, that was like their, their first first trip, uh, like long trip as well. So that was, uh, that was, it was really good to have them uh, for like two, three weeks, you know. And so, you know, they came here and they realized that I was having like a good life, so, now they're happy, you know. They they know a few of my friends. Uh, they they came when I was working to the restaurant. They came to see where I was working. So they they had any idea idea of my Italian uh, sorry of my Australian life, mm. you know. So now they're happy, like you know. It's been, they know it's been almost yeah. six years now. 
the time in Australia. And um, I know that you uh, you love soccer. So how is to to let's say the last big thing that we had? How was to watch the Euro Cup that early and celebrate that early? Yeah, how was uh, it? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was good. Um, okay, the, in that moment, I I felt a bit homesick. You know, yeah. I, I wish I, I was. Imagine. I wish I was in Italy, of course, because people went crazy <laughs> up there. You know, it, was, it felt good, especially after um, <clears throat> like the whole here being um, with the COVID and uh, being locked down. You know, like to win in, in this time, you know, it's it's just something that everyone is gonna remember forever. You know, like coming out from this hard moment of history. You know, and then your nation. You know, like at this uh, like brilliant uh, soccer game and just win. You know, the, the European Cup is just <laughs> felt very, very good. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, and um, and then you you worked for this um, Italian restaurant. And then after that was the time they moved um, to manage the cafe, or you went somewhere else before. Um, <clears throat> so everything happened pretty fast when I start work at the restaurant. Um, time in like in a six months, I reached my position as a supervisor. Um, and I'd say that this is something that I really, really like in Australia, because if you, if you show yourself, you just, you know, if you show that you are a reliable person and you work hard, you, <clears throat> you can have, like you can reach goals like pretty, pretty fast. Um, and so, um, like and I didn't plan all of this, of course. But you know, like after six months, I became a supervisor, so I started to be like a little bit more involved in the restaurant. And you know, I felt it was going good. So I say, okay, I wanna try and see uh, what happened. Working hard, so I was like focusing on um, on this on this job. And um, in uh, a near time, um, my previous manager she uh, resigned because she moved to another another job and I saw an opportunity. So I went to my boss and I said, look, I feel ready. I wasn't feeling ready. But <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I want to manage the restaurant. And that, that, that's, uh, you know, a big step because, um, um, you, you learn how to manage a business. You know, it, it's not just a restaurant anymore. It's not just, it's like on top of having fun and, you know, having like, uh, serving the people, staying with the people, uh, with your colleagues, and you know, you just go to another aspect of the of the business. You know, and my boss said, "Okay, like I know you don't have experience, but I, you know, I trust you, so let's let's try this." You know, and then went well. I f like in uh, I managed that restaurant for three years wow. uh, later. Yeah. So I believe that after those three years, you're missing some of the time that you had back there traveling oh, with your two mates yes, and yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> to relax. Exactly. Yeah. Now, you know, now I, <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, again, I'm just having like my routine, my life. Uh, but uh, sometimes, yeah, I really want to go back at that time. I was completely free. You know, I never uh, did nothing for three months in a row, you know, like, apart from uh, uh, traveling, of course, so that's uh, that was like a big, big time, big time. Just something that probably, probably I'm never gonna do um, again. You know, I didn't that time because I was free. I didn't mm. have any job. I didn't have any any other thing to do. So yeah. it's good. Like when when this is why when we have a chance to do something, it's good to do because then after we have other stuff to exactly. Yes, yeah. sometimes it's good to to stop and mm. you know do something completely different. Something that you know. Like you have to push yourself because I remember sometimes I was like realizing suddenly it's like I'm in the middle of Australia by myself. There's no one here, no friend, no family, and I'm traveling. So that's crazy. You know, sometimes you realize that. Yeah, it's and good. why why you decide to? So you're working in hospitality, managing mm -hmm. a restaurant. You've been there for a while. Um, you know everything. So why you decide to? move from a restaurant to a cafe, even though they are hospitality and everything, but I believe it's it's so different of each other. Yeah, you're right. It's very different. And <clears throat> let's say probably I work overall four years in a, 
in this restaurant. I was really focused on uh, my career that, you know, and almost never had time off. Um, I was working pretty much night time and all the weekend, uh, which I enjoyed. And, uh, you know, I had my goals, so I didn't stop um, uh, for a while. And then, you know, COVID happened, uh, like life changed a little bit. Um, I just realized I still love hospitality, but I want to have my <clears throat> yeah, more time for myself and my actual girlfriend. Um, I want to enjoy the weekend, you know, I want to enjoy, change a bit my my routine. So <clears throat> I remember I give uh, one month notice to my previous boss, which is like um, still in like in a good, uh, uh, good contact, you know. With it. Um, and I just, uh, had a couple of weeks off uh, time just to, you know, relax a little bit. And then I was looking for a morning job. In hospitality? Uh, or? Um, I was looking, uh, yeah, pretty much in hospitality because, you know, that's my background. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I can do and um, what I am I'm became good at, you know, I'm just doing that for a long time. Um, so I... I looked a little bit around, and uh, then when um, ALS and uh, Books and Beans came up, so they were looking for a cafe manager, and uh, with a Monday to Friday, you know. So and that was what I was looking um, in that moment. So like, yeah, I want to do. I want to go back to the Monday Friday routine, um, which I missed a little bit now from like four or five years, mm -hmm. of course. Um, yeah, and that's happened. And uh, I met uh, Neil, um, uh, the the head of the the school. Uh, how do you say? It? Not the the principal. The principal. The principal yeah. yeah. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> But it's the same, <laughs> the same thing. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, no, so we had the meeting, and then uh, I started like two three weeks later. Yeah. yeah. And what what for you? It's um one of the main uh, difference between being in a cafe environment and a restaurant environment? Like work-wise with customers and everything? Oh, it, uh, yeah, it's completely different, as you said. You know, I, um, I remember I enjoyed work at night time because <coughs> people is a little bit more relaxed. Mm -hmm. They don't have to work anymore, so they just come and they want to enjoy a glass of wine, uh, you know, plate of pasta, dessert. And I felt, um, you know, I was able to have a good connection with the customer because, you know, I enjoyed that they were enjoying, you know, that moment. Um, rather than, you know, like in morning time, it's more you have to be fast, you know, reacting because people want to have a coffee and go away. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go to work. So <laughs> you have to be like precise and uh, fast in, uh, in what you do. But yeah, it's, I, I love the morning as well. Like I had to say I did a, a good a good choice because now my, my routine changed. I'm pretty much home uh, all the nights, you know, I'm having weekend finally. <laughs> so you can have a wine so and like good lifestyle. So it's, you know? Yeah, it's me going to the restaurant and, you know, enjoying nice. it. Yeah, exactly. And because uh, we, because um, you mentioned you had the chance to meet people from all over the world and in Brisbane, uh, we see people from everywhere as well. Right. Um, and I believe on your everyday routine, you get clients from everywhere. Uh, that's a, a challenge, right? To, to meet expectations and because they, they look for different things. Like one will come and they want to talk to you. Another one, they just want to grab the coffee and leave. Another one wants yeah. to... Yeah, yeah. Um, let's say I, that's another thing that I most enjoy about my, my job is, uh, is the people. So uh, I like to understand and put myself in, uh, on the other side. You know, I try to understand what they like, what they want in that moment. But, um, so, you know, try to have a conversation and try to make the day better. And as you said, it's, um, this thing make me grow mm -hmm. a lot because now I know how to, let's say, treat, how to deal with people that they come from different countries. You know, sometimes I know, uh, keep me like my mind open, of course, because we are all different if, it, if we live in the same country, but let's say, understand what the what the background you know as soon as i can so i can uh you know adapt my conversation or you know try to speak a few words you know the one i know from another language so yeah that's uh, still the thing i enjoy the most nice and um so for people watching us and they are let's say now back in italy 
yeah so they are in milan rome and they are right now they are having the same thoughts that you had a while ago mm. when you left the bank and you're thinking oh should i go overseas should i study um what kind of um message based on everything they went through all the uh, experience that you had traveling the experience that you had uh, working the farm as you said feeling free and then after working in a busy environment such as um hospitality as a restaurant um working every night and then after manage your way to manage a cafe and walking during the day based on everything that you you had the chance to experience so far mm. um what kind of message advice would you give to them um well i know now it's um not a good time for travel of <laughs> course it's well, once quite, once quite, we are back yeah, to normal <laughs> once we're going to be back to normal um just do it just do it um because as i said i did it quite late in my life because i was 27 years old and uh, once i um, you know left my my safe environment you know and i faced something else um i found myself like growing in more in a few months than probably 10 years spent in my city you know it's it's just crazy like you you start to have conversation with yourself um you know you just you feel like smarter you know um it's um it's crazy i i, I just say to everybody like travel doing because after you do you realize who you are you know like you do <clears throat> you travel more you do an inner travel you know, rather than just moving you know around the world you just you grow up and you you don't you realize that after um so travel people like do but not just travel like stay, you know stay and live um in another area for a few months a year a few years because it's um it's just great it just make you so much so much better because then it gives us the chance to go through everything right just not like where you go through when you're traveling so you have your bad days and your good days yeah, yeah uh, you you push your limits and <clears throat> you really realize what what the person you want to be and what you want to do for example i i uh, always say i started my job career you know in uh, in an office and then now i manage a restaurant i manage a cafe which is completely different you know from how i was picturing myself you know and now i know another language um you know i'm able to speak like with people from all over the world you know especially if i use my, my <laughs> hands <laughs> they will understand me um no it's it's great it's great yeah and as you say yeah, there's many many difficult moments i i'm not ashamed to say i was i cried a lot of time because you know you are, you are alone and you have your down moment there's nobody there uh for you you know in your family in your friend you know of course you meet a new friend but it's it's mm. uh, it's different so you just have to react all the time it's what and makes you great. stronger absolutely right. yeah uh emma thank you so much for not only being here but sharing your your life experience with us um we we appreciate uh it's really nice i think it it gives everyone the chance to um perhaps take the next step and be like oh yeah I, I'm going to try that, you know. I mm-hmm. I want to I want to do that in the future. I want to go back and say I was doing this and I went through so many stuff, you know. Um and see you guys next time. Thank you. All right, thank you all. See you guys. See ya.